Hello everyone, Thomas Turner here, known as TMT Designs, and today we're going to be learning about the basics of WordPress. It is a blogging software. You can check the link in the description on what's the difference between WordPress and a HTML website, and it'll show you how to install WordPress and show you the basics of what a WordPress website is. Today we are going to we are going to be learning a bit more about it and the basic functions okay so once you have logged in and created the wordpress site uh, here is the home page there's a little shortcuts on what you can do you can and you can start customizing your website okay uh, this is jetpack you may not have it but this just allows you to track your website i believe it is a wordpress wordpress plugin which you can install so posts here you can add a new post as we as I've done here in the example you just click add new po add new then you could put a new blog blog website oh welcome yeah, welcome and then welcome to our blog and this makes the URL for the post what you are creating and there's many annotations what you can do you can add videos images anything you want okay um yeah so i'm not gonna publish okay so this is the media library where you can add media for your website such as videos and stuff like that and pictures uh pages here you can create a new page let's say you wanted someone if you were doing maybe a car auction website you could just add maybe about website about page like what what the blog is about stuff like that comments this is just a commenting section and you can approve deny comments and yeah you can add different plugins to integrate different like login do you want people to log in uh, do you, would you allow anonymous posts it's all in this setting so themes, this is where you can be a bit more creative. Instead of having a just a template, you can go and add new theme. And here is the basically theme library. Let's say I wanted, I don't know, there's only 15 themes on this current WordPress, but I can click on popular. And yeah, you can feel more professional. There's just different themes and you can edit these as much as you want, I believe. I'd advise you to edit one yourself before hiring me or someone else because it can be slightly expensive for some people um, but yeah it just depends what you want uh -huh. so yeah so pretend I wanted to install this theme I'll just click install and then I've got this theme as soon as it's installed I'll be able to click on theme yeah, installed. Now activate. And now if I go to TMT Designs for just blog, it has just installed the new theme with with the old content which I had. It's very simple. If I wanted to customize the theme here, I'd be able to customize it, change the text and, um, and sections. It just depends what you want to do, but this is just a little UI user interface for the website owner and widgets you can install widgets and search for widgets on the WordPress website background menus it's all pretty much self-explanatory so And then some themes come with um, plugins which you can just install if you want them. So now we're going to go to the plugin section. Here you can search for your current plugins and you can install new ones for free. Some of them are paid but I'd just recommend the free ones. So let's say we wanted a contact form on our website. I just click type in form and then test out a few of the plugins. You pretty much just Make sure it's compatible with your WordPress version and then click install now and it just same as before it's just a two second process you click and 
install now and then activate and now it's in the WordPress. And to integrate like let's say the form into your website you'll add it as a widget or you can add short code. Uh, I might do a tutorial on that in the future. For now we are just going through the basics. So yeah now it is installed. And you can deactivate them and stuff like that. Okay. So the editor here you can edit the core files. Let you can add snippet codes, you can just customize it a bit more in your own way, pretty much. But WordPress is pretty limited with the customizability, in my opinion. So all users here can have different administrators. If you want maybe a friend or a colleague to log into it and monitor it as well as you, it's very useful. You just click add new user and then you just fill in these criteria and click add new and they'll be able to sign into your WordPress just like you. Tools um, here you could install different tools, pardon me. Um, yeah so you can import tools, export tools, settings, these are just general settings of the WordPress website if you want to change the title. There's different ways of doing it and time and here, since we installed the plugin earlier, huge forms, now we can go and customize, we can add a new form, like as, as we see at the top here, this is just a demo plugin, you can buy the full version, not sponsored at all, um, yeah, so that's just how it is. And then S3 Optimizer, this is a SiteGround plugin, I believe just for SiteGround customers, it is very cool, I've noticed a big difference using it in the past for clients. But anyway guys, thanks for watching, it means a lot, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and yeah that's about it, bye.